The Narcissist Harassing and Stalking You Part 2 Months or even years in extreme cases after you have left the narcissist they will continue to harass and stalk you. They will spread rumors and even have their fly monkeys to do their dirty work. The fly monkeys might follow you around, take note of your routine and then report all of this information back to the narcissist. If you are starting a new job, seeing someone new or planning to move away, you could be sure that the fly monkeys will be taking note of this information. They will then report back to the narcissist and they will do whatever they can to sabotage your progress in life. The narcissist has so much passion, fire, devotion, enthusiasm and keenness to winning you over. But for no good. They are trying to isolate you. They are trying to prevent you from moving on and living a fulfilling, fulfilling life. They are trying to prevent you from starting a new career or meeting a genuine caring person. So that you will only be passionate, devoted and enthusiastic to them and no one else. They want you all to themselves. You are most likely watching this video because you are being harassed and stalked by the narcissist. It confuses you, makes you wonder why are they doing this? Why are they harassing and stalking me? Well, I used to ask myself the same question and then I realized I have what they want. I look good, I dress good, I have all of these positive qualities which they want but do not have. And since you are watching this video, you most likely possess the same or similar, similar qualities. Genuine happiness, love, passion. The ability to feel a, a deep emotional connection. Devotion, commitment, dedication, enthusiasm, empathy, consideration. The narcissist is trying to get on with their lives. They are trying to move on, but they are struggling to do this. Because you have what they want. You have all of these great qualities which they like but do not have. Sure, they could simply appreciate your qualities and then move on with their lives. But we know Narcissus cannot do that. They become envious. They want to destroy your qualities. They want to pre uh, prevent your success in life. And this is why they will follow you, you around, stalking and harassing you. Because you have what they want. I think it is important to note that even after the narcissist has stalked and harassed you, Although they appear satisfied and relieved on the surface, beneath that they're still miserable. It provides them with a mild amount of satisfaction, a dopamine hit, and then they are left trying to figure out what they need to do next. 
If they approach you, they will likely take up a lot of your time. To prolong the interaction so that they can get as much supply as they can to keep them going. They are literally addicts to our life, energy and emotions. They are addicts to any attention and validation we give them. And what happens when you take the drug away? They go looking for it. They go looking for you or me because we have what they want. Once you've found the pattern of behavior the narcissist uses, it all becomes predictable. You could begin to develop a fear of anticipation since you know they're going to start again, you just don't know when exactly. Or you could just focus on yourself and whenever they're ready to do their thing, just think in your mind. There they go again, narking. I've noticed that narcissists portray everyone else as being flawed in some way that is less than desirable. And it's not just people you know personally, but if someone is interested in spending time with you, they will portray them as less than desirable in some way. Especially if in their minds, they believe that this person is desirable. It's the same thing if you like a celebrity actor or a singer. They are quick to point out their flaws or say that they are not good singers or whatever. There is always an attempt to make you not want to desire anyone. Because the thought of your time and attention being on another person or even an inanimate object is very painful for the narcissist. They need all of your time, effort and attention to be on them. And all of these behaviors, they're just triggered by their inferiority complex, childhood abuse or neglect, not being able to sustain the feeling of being larger than life. They cannot sustain real genuine happiness. And when you present yourself to them, you are resurfacing all of this in their minds. They feel inferior to you. So they will try to discover something that they believe makes them superior to you. But again, the fact that they do this should reinforce your belief that they are trying to prevent the painful feelings they get from being in your presence. As when you are around them, you are reminding them of their inferiority complex, their childhood abuse or neglect, and their lack of real genuine happiness or fulfillment in their lives. Some narcissists go for, from relationship to relationship, house to house, car to car, anything to make them believe that they are really happy and fulfilled. But when those things don't live up to their expectations, they are left feeling unsatisfied and even frustrated. They see you being genuinely happy, sometimes even with less than what they have. And this resurfaces the dissatisfaction and fr frustration within them all over again. So to summarize this video, anytime you are feeling any distress or worry with a narcissist being around you or watching you, ask yourself, why are they harassing and stalking me? Because I have what they want. Thank you. I will be uploading part 3 soon.